Welcome back. This is board five. And uh, it's a question whether or not this is 10 to 14 or it's 15 plus. But this is, it really, really looks like, yeah, let's say 10 to 14, I don't know, uh, 10 to 14. With 15 plus with clubs, I need to open one club, which is the classical uh, standard Polish club opener. And it's just a double, which is. I think we're done bidding, to be honest. I have a pretty good hand, actually. Definitely much better than Helen's last time. But it's. Being passed out, I have a very good club suit for uh, to play two clubs double. And I, I wonder, of course, Helen might have like a void or something like that, but I'm definitely not gonna run. I wasn't gonna run. Um, she has actually two clubs. Okay, so they have. They get two spade tricks, one club trick. Uh, sorry, two spades, one heart. Let's say one diamond, that's four. With the ace of clubs, it would be five, and I, I would make it. But, but it's quite likely that I will need to lose uh, two club tricks. So I might play like a like a diamond finance and play a low club to the nine. That seems a bit committal. So let's just check a little bit if we can find out anything else from the hand. Of course, I mean four low clubs seems a bit. It it doesn't seem like a pass to me, to be honest. So what was sorry? King and then he played the queen on it. So that means he has the jack, that's fine. Low heart, king, taken. Okay, so he has ace, king of, or ace, king of spades and ace of hearts already. Ace of spades. So now I could The ten of spades is good now. It doesn't really help me at all, right? And the question is, do I want to go down? Um, right. So it could be something like West has five hearts and uh, and four spades. West has five five hearts and four spades, and then he would have four diamonds as well, and no clubs. But I mean, can't I just play one round of clubs? I mean, if it's five zero, I can't pick it, pick them up anyway. And they are indeed 5-0. I mean, that's kind of what I thought. Like, it doesn't look like a good call. Yeah, so so I, I'm i guessing I should go down this low diamond to the jack. And then... Um, well, the ten of spades is good, so that would be a pity not to use. And he does over off. So if my count is correct, this this diamond will still hold. In in which case, 
no, it wasn't correct. So <laughs> I don't know what happened. Uh, but okay. Uh, I wasn't really gonna make it anyway. Uh, wait, what's going on? Oh, he had five clubs and four for uh, in the majors. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's too bad. Yeah, I completely misplayed it, but. Down to not a good result, I guess. But yeah, yeah, we're gonna start from zero again. Five point eight, and Gib will tell me how what made would have been okay. So Gib thinks I was okay, so I don't know. With this hand, I have the option of opening two diamonds, which is like a weak, weak two. Which could be five cards, but I don't like this. It seems like I'm a little bit too strong for that, honestly. But um, actually, two spades. So if Helen finds a double, I can bid a very nice three hard bid, which, due to uh, Lebensall, means that I have a kind of an eight, eight to ten, eight nine points, something like that. With at least four hearts, which would help me a lot. But uh, they found a nice pass. Oh, and just now I realized that we are vulnerable against not. So uh, yeah, the whole hand I was just uh, okay. So she did find a double. The question is. What if uh, Mr. Nuno finds a three spade bid? But I guess I will just have to bid four hearts because uh, I don't know, eight to ten, something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> and now Helen can uh, see if she can raise me or not. I don't mind too much. Of course, she could have a decent hand with three hearts, but. You can't bid it all. Eight to ten. Ish. So we're back to square one, unfortunately. It was just down one here. Yeah, I mean, I kind of figured I did something wrong. But, yeah. So it looks like we might lose two diamonds, two diamonds, two spades, and a club, which is a bit too much, just a little bit too much. Of course, often uh, you kind of uh, no, actually that that double is great. I don't know what she was saying. Uh, it's definitely not a three club bid or anything. Um, so. Is this three really a singleton? Well, it could be a singleton. And it doesn't look like, I mean, normally when you have like ace third against opposite three small, you're kind of tempted to duck it first time. But I'm not really sure that would gain me too much because. Uh, it feels like they have a lot of uh, communication. Like, like West can always get in with some spades. East can also 
can always get in, I guess, with a club king or something. So, I mean, East probably has the diamond, so so it's not really gonna be like uh, I, I can shut out one of the two opponents. So I might as well just play the ace of uh, diamonds and play on trumps and see what's uh, what they're gonna do. With this club suit, I could. There are two ways of playing it. Uh, I can start. I can either play for King Doubleton in West, or I can play for Ten Doubleton in East by either financing first time or second time, but uh, trying to uh, to uh, pin. The, the ton of uh, clubs. But uh, first I have to play trumps because uh, I don't need any any of those trumps in Domino. And uh, we're gonna see. I don't particularly think that uh, trumps are uh, trumps split badly. But uh, Well, we're non vulnerable, so if we don't make it, it doesn't matter by how much we go down. And indeed, they're, uh, um, they're 4 1, so that's not good. If he has like, let's say he has three, 6 3 3 1. Mm, so 6 spades. Uh, so yeah. Okay, so three three tricks uh, for us. And we're not gonna make it really, but uh, I can try to. Yeah, I'm not even sure what I can try. Uh, but I can try this. Okay, so that held. The problem is that uh, he's going to have a bunch of uh, hearts to... to cash. But we might as well play clubs for no losers. And it, it looks like he has three clubs with the king, so... So this is the way to play it. Of course, there, there's no guarantee that he has... That West also also uh, doesn't have the ten, so it it uh, yeah we're going down a bunch. I think I'm making one more trick, one more hard trick, and that's about it. And okay, so at least I cashed. Uh, I I I got the club suit right in the sense that uh, uh, that that there were three in West and two in East. Well, I don't want to leave the seat, even though I'm. A little bit disappointed with uh, with this hand, but could have been worse. Yeah, so he's taking his high heart, and uh, I'm I'm not gonna listen to this song during the broadcast, but doesn't matter. He's gonna take the queen of spades and making one more one more trick with my seven. We got almost half an in for that, so that's definitely okay. So finally, we get the Polish club opener. I haven't counted the tricks. I think I have twenty-three. Twelve, fourteen, balanced, or uh, or fifteen plus with clubs, or eighteen plus any, and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. It would be cool if West uh, passed.
This would be greatly appreciated. But beggars can't be choosers, they say. And he does pass. So well, I'm I'm not gonna explain all the all the replies by uh, by Helen, but I'm just gonna explain what what her actual reply means. Now we'll see. So why did we win half an imp? Because they were making uh, yeah some spades, even for some people. One spade. So this is actually a natural bid. And we don't have a and and I know for sure that I have to bid. Trump, we're in the game for now. Her one spade bid is natural. It promises at least four spades. And. Uh, it's like seven plus. Well, the problem is I have four. I don't know how else to explain this. I have between one and two hard space. And if it's three no Trump, well, I'm going to try four no Trump. And this is quantitative with just and just pulling this out of a rabbit hat let's say like just so I have 23 and she promised seven and I, I until now I only promised 18 so this is like this kind of a approximate sequence that you sometimes see in standard bidding when you you bid like let's say two clubs two diamonds and now you have a 28 count two clubs two diamonds two hearts forcing two spades and then over uh, um over two no trump which is just promises 20 25 plus if partner bids three no trump then what should you do with like 28 or 29 or 30 because partner hasn't promised anything at all Okay, turns out partner doesn't have anything at all. And we might be going down here. But uh, so well that counter trick is always a good idea. There are four club tricks. Three of these are seven, eight, nine. And I'm guessing that uh, the jack of uh, spades will be also a trick. That would make ten. So that's a good. That's uh, good news. And uh, there's some extra chances in uh, in diamonds. If the jack falls doubleton or or uh, they're uh, three three. Okay, so he did lead the king of spades. Okay, so actually he's just kind of cashing out. But, um, yeah. If he plays a spade, I'm just going to play the jack and play for an over trick. Um, yeah, come on, I'm not going to play... Uh, I'm not going to take this diamond finance. Yeah. I can't take these uh, clubs for fun. I don't really mind uh, what their signals are. Cards are hard. Another heart. And West is out of diamonds. Mm. 
Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, okay. Now, now uh, Nuno has count, so uh, he's not gonna discard the uh, diamonds if he was uh, paying attention, and he was. But at least we didn't go to slam because, uh, yeah, I guess some. Yeah, I kind of guessed some people would. At least we we found exactly how many tricks we have. Actually, Gib would point out that you can play diamonds for uh, for one loser by uh, by for no losers by playing the a small diamond to the queen and then running the ten and uh, that would pin the nine. But well, I'm not Gib, so. I just took the ten tricks I I found, and this is a seventeen count. So just a boring fifteen seventeen one. No, we actually play Adams. Uh, people who were from the forums. Uh, it's uh, Adam Meyerson's uh, one no Trump system. We just just stole it, basically. Okay, it, it is publicly available online, but... But we stole it. Or no Trump. Helen's uh, looking through the system files. So this, this might uh, last a few minutes, but what can you do? This is board 8, so... Probably the last from this recording but, and Helen just uh, passed she might have some kind of an interesting hand of course I'm not allowed to think about this if uh, opponents had been but okay so she she was just probably just uh, looking at some cat pictures online or something but uh, whatever queen of clubs well might as well take it. Sometimes taking it the first uh, round uh, helps create some kind of a blockage. Okay, so what can I do here? I definitely need to play on diamonds, regardless of how many tricks that brings. And the easiest way is to play a low onto the jack. I think. Well, easy or not, um, they're going to catch a bunch of clubs now. Mm, might have min misplayed that a bit, because uh, actually... So he played the queen, that means that he has something like... Okay, so they play Rusinov lead. I think they said it uh, in the beginning of the session. I wasn't paying attention. But at least uh, clubs were 4-4, four, four, so that's good. Spade. Should I try this? Yeah, I think... Yeah, now I'm making, because... Uh, he cannot attack hearts from his side. And now my whole hand is high. It's it's uh, everything is high. Oh wait. And that was worth some imps. No. It's a four spade opening bid. I'm not even thinking of uh, bidding over it. And uh, yeah, the point was to, to stop this recording, so uh, I will. Just a second. Uh, does this make any sense? Okay, it's kind of a... I think it's kind of a boring hand, so I'm going to start it after the, uh, the next one. 